Andrew, you're never going to use Wireshark again. All right, tell me more. Let's dive right in. This tool that I'm showing you today is called Apackets, and the URL is apackets.com. Now, I want to be very clear that this video isn't a slam on the tool. I believe that when people use it appropriately, it's a very effective from privacy and uh, client information, then you gotta be really careful because there is an option where there is public information that is posted onto the internet, which is super dangerous, especially if you're being hired as a, a consultant administrator and you've got company data that's public publicly available. I mean, that's, that should be obviously not okay. But as I've, as I've experienced in industry is that you just can't assume that everybody understands, just can't, okay? So let's actually, let's dive into it. Now, if you're not familiar with the tool, what it is, is essentially a Wireshark or a packet PCAP file analyzer. You upload the file and it, it churns through it and spits out information that you want. Let's start off with the landing pages. It's super straightforward. You know, we've got a upload PCAP file, boom. We can you put it in there, it's gonna do, do some work on it. I uploaded a file that had 174,000 packets in it and it it churned through that file and got the pertinent information in like a minute. If we scroll down, like this is the first landing page, we go on down, it gives you all of the different features that are in this site. A particular note I would say would be this part down here where you can actually, it, it grabs, uh, find passwords that are in there. That's really useful extremely useful for a capture the flag type event. Also, probably, probably a very big red flag for confidential information. Another reason why you wouldn't put this in there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna go to the view PCAPs, which is uh, a collection of files that have been uploaded by real people and posted on here. Now, when I did this the first time, I, I found a whole bunch of credentials, a percentage of that, 40% that were definitely, definitely, capture the flag PCAPs. Okay, it was, it was pretty obvious based on the information that was in there. However, there was some other captures that were, they could have been capture the flags, but they, I wasn't totally sure. What if it is real? So let's go take a peek at that. This is the up-to-date list of information that is actually posted on the website. They, they save the last 100 uh, captures that have been uploaded publicly. Now there, uh, there is an option for doing this privately, but you have to pay for it. So there's a bit of a paywall. And I gotta also say that this is not the only service out there that does this, but this is, I would say, the one that does it the most attractively. Like this is pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at some of the stuff that it, it highlights. And it does it based on some of these, these tabs that we can see on the left side of the screen, right here. We've got DNS, ARP, and then it does a really nice thing where it actually shows you the credentials. Uh, HTTP, it even brings out pictures. And if I go to this one, let's see what kind of pictures we, we can see right away. We can see we've got a phone, right? Maybe that's a capture the flag, I don't know. But it was a potentially a website that was visited. Credentials, network packet. Now if you see this one, I'll, I'll zoom in on it. Credentials, 23 instances of that. I mean, we've, you've even got a telnet. So we've got somebody that is attempting to log in admin, password admin, incorrect, password root, incorrect. So we've got a, a couple incorrect telnet uh, attempts. Interesting. Admin, admin is pretty pretty standard for a initial test for a login, and sometimes it works. <laughs> so what are the what are the issues that come from doing a tool using a tool like this? It's like any tool. You know, I've I've said this analogy before, but it's like a hammer. You can use that hammer to build a house and it looks great. But you can also use that exact same tool to walk down the street and smash car windows and steal stuff from there. Same thing here. I mean, it, it does simplify aspects of Wireshark, like specifically credential grabbing. Everything that you can do in this website, you can do that with Wireshark. No way at all, in my, my opinion, should we ever be using a tool like this for client data. If you want to learn more about Wireshark, I would recommend plug watching some of my Wireshark videos. I've been, I've made a few and I, I really enjoy using this tool. It tells the entire story of from the beginning to the end and everything that happened in that network. It's, it's awesome. Okay. Hey, if you enjoyed these videos, go ahead and like and subscribe. That would be great. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.